Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're going to motion track in Vegas Pro 18 and using the new motion tracking panel. So if you just bought Vegas Pro 18 and you want to motion track, you're like, whoa, where'd it go? It's not in Bezier masking anymore. And yes, it's inherited, it's grown up, it's got its own panel now, it's, and it's its own effect. So first, uh, we're going to be motion tracking this colorized in Vegas Pro 18 Buster Keaton footage, which is in the public domain. And... I'm going to just select up here and start typing MOT for motion tracking and then I'm going to drag and drop the motion tracking effect onto the clip. And you can see the motion tracking window pops up here, but what you also see is that it says go somewhere else to motion track. So you, this is where you can affect where the motion tracker is in the effects chain and if it's on or off in the effects chain, but it's not where you're actually going to control motion tracking. So once you have it on the effects chain, you can either go to tools, video, and select motion tracking. Or what I like to do is just right click on the clip that has motion tracking on it and then hit motion tracking. So boom, I have the motion tracking panel open. This is the motion tracking panel. This is where you can create multiple motion tracking regions. That's a topic for another tutorial when we do advanced motion tracking. Uh, this is also where you can select if it tracks outside the region or inside the region and where if it's fast, accurate, or balanced. Uh, we're going to go with balance for this tutorial, but uh, there's a reason why you might want it to be super precise or not as precise. Text doesn't need to be as precise, right? Because if you're motion tracking text and it bounces too much, it might be kind of hard to read. We're going to go with balanced. And then uh, you can do location, rotation, scale, shape, and perspective. It's actually going to create all of these uh, when you do it. It's just going to create a bunch of motion tracking vectors. But we're concerned about about location right now. We'll cover these. Uh, this is like whether it's going to shift turn to the side or when the camera turns or the object turns away from the camera, uh, how big it's going to look, uh, if it's if it's rotating. It's going to collect all of these at once. Uh, but we're just going to stick with location right now and we're going to motion track Buster Keaton's head. So I'm going to cut it down to where it's just him before he's about to fall. Spoiler alert. So. Now I want to motion track his head, and I'm just going to grab these corners and I'm going to highlight his head here. And then you can go right here and hit track one frame forward, and you can motion track one frame at a time if that's what you would like to do. If not, you can just hit this forward track, and a little loading box will appear for a second and it will track his head as far as it can until it can't find his head anymore. So we can see here if I arrow through it's working so one thing I do need to do this is 24 per frames per second footage uh, but for some reason my project is 30 frames per second so I'm gonna change my project to the same frame rate as the footage just to make this a little easier as I arrow through not a big deal but uh, it'll make it a little clearer as I arrow through we're looking at his head as it falls it's motion tracking it but here there's an issue because it's kinda of motion tracking it and then suddenly it hits a lot of motion blur that's okay if that happens to your motion tracking data, no big deal. We can get him through the fall. So right here, just arrow through and you can move it where it has a mistake. You can arrow through. Now I picked this footage on purpose. There's a lot of cleaner footage you could do this with. Uh, I've done a lot of motion tracking of James Bond's face. That had no issues. And how am I going to teach you anything if I don't teach you how to deal with the harder scenario? So this is a harder scenario. And uh, we are following Buster Keaton's, not his Keaton, we're following Buster Keaton's face. There we go. And in a second he's going to finish the fall. And then we're going to be through all the craziness. That didn't take very long, very simple to move around, and we're creating motion tracking information all the time. And then here we are, where the rest of it, I want the computer to finish it, so I'm gonna have it redo the motion tracking information by hitting forward track again. It's got a little loading bar is gonna pop up, and when it's done, and we're gonna be able to watch it follow Buster Keaton's face. It didn't follow his face, what happened? So, uh, let's arrow through again. For some reason, it didn't see that that's his face, so now let's try motion tracking his face again. There we go. Now it's following his face. Why this matters, even if you had to manually do a couple frames yourself, this matters because you can now apply this to other things. So first off, I'm going to hit Control shift q and we're going to apply this to uh, my intro. So I'm going to grab my intro really fast and throw this on here. 
And in my intro, it's a little bit longer than this clip actually, and I'm control Z, I'm gonna right click and drop it into the timeline and then select video only, add video across time, there we go, now it did it without the audio. And uh, I want it to match in length, and we're going to move the motion tracking information to the picture and picture track. So I'm gonna go to video effect, uh, I said picture and picture track, picture and picture effect. So we go to, we type in, not pip, sorry, picture and picture, and then I drag and drop that down there. I pick the size I want it to be, and I put it where I want it to go, and so we need to start right at the beginning uh, over here, and then put it, I want it next to his face. Like, I don't want it on his face, I want it next to it. So we're gonna put it next to his face and see if it motion tracks. So first off, it's not going to until I tell it to do something. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna right click and we're gonna open this motion tracking panel again. And we're gonna make sure that the look, that the mode hasn't changed because it will do a different mode like uh, shift the video in perspective to match his face and things like that. If you have it in a different mode, uh, we're just gonna keep it on location because this tutorial uh, doesn't cover all of that. That's a lot to cover. So um, then we hit this little effect motion tracking button and we go to new, new intro and then Vegas picture and picture selecting that's the right so this is the new new intro video clip and we're selecting the picture and picture effect on it and you can see in here look at that look at all that motion tracking data that is copied and pasted wow it's a lot of it's a lot of work that's been saved so when you watch it whoo, boom motion tracks with his head so let's say you want to do that to text well, let's go ahead and grab some text. Heck, let's make it pretty. There we go. Something kind of old timey. Buster. And let's go right here to the beginning. We can make this the same length as the clip if we want with the trim tool. And then go right here to the beginning. And then we can pick exactly where we want it by just moving the text around. So I want the text to be on this side of his head. And then, or actually we can go over his head. Let's just, let's do that. Let's go over his head. Uh, and boom, it's kind of overlapping, a little gaudy. That's all right. Um, and then we're going to just right click, hit this motion tracking event again, make sure it's still on location. And then we're going to move the motion tracking data to Vegas, uh, Titles and text, Buster. It's going to have the best name of location it has. And we're going to add this to uh, the location of the text. So now, look at that. Now his name motion tracks with Buster. Do Let's say we wanted to do witness protection and we wanted to blur him out. Well, there's a couple of different ways to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to layer his effect. So you can actually, with the motion tracker, you can actually add this data back to other effects on the clip itself. I want to be clear, that is possible. The problem is, um, if we did that, we would actually be still be altering the data uh, that the motion tracking thing is. And it's still, the motion tracking would work. I did it before, it works great. But for the sake and ease of the tutorial, it's actually going to make it look like it's off because we're actually cutting and manipulating the clip itself where the motion tracking data is on. So what we're going to do is just make a copy of it. Very simple. We're going to click on the one week test and we're going to copy it. I um, just held the control key to create a copy. Now we have it twice. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to delete the motion tracker off that. Then what I'm going to do is grab the Bezier masking tool and put it on here. And then I'm going to grab Gaussian blur or let's do pixelization. get some large pixelization put it there and so now we got Bezier masking and pixelization but the problem is is the Bezier mask is actually pixelated so we need to put the pixelization before the Bezier mask and if you're familiar with Bezier masking that's what actually work now we could actually just mask the effect and not actually cookie cut the video it doesn't matter though because we've got a layer so I'm not going to do that you can see we can move this pixelation around the screen now uh, affecting whatever we want. Uh, I want the pixelation to be even more crazy. There we go. Now we got like a witness protection pixelation. And uh, you can even go down here to the mask and go to the feather and blur it a little bit. Uh, 
and we're just going to pixelate like all of Buster here. And so now what I can do, I'm going to save it and then I'm going to right click and hit motion track and then I'm going to make sure location is selected and then I'm going to hit this motion track transfer again and we're going to go to the one week on top with the Bezier masking effect so you can still see it you see all the effects it's possible to go to and all the clips it's possible to go to but they're not necessarily mutually exclusive uh, so this one we're going to go to the top one and we're going to go to Bezier masking on the top one here and we can check through it real quick yeah it worked So I'm loving this new motion tracking panel. Now the cool thing about the panel too is if you add other project media into it, you can actually put the motion tracking effect on to that as well. And the panel, you can leave the same panel up and you can just click between the two different panels and you can work on two different motion tracking issues or problems or clips with the same panel up and it'll just tell you the clip that it's affecting and the region that it's affecting when you're selecting the clip. So you can hop between the two different motion tracking things that you're working on. So that is Motion Tracking Vegas Pro 18. Like if this video helped you out. If you're interested in buying Vegas Pro 18, if you do so through my affiliate links, that helps me make more tutorials like this one. Thanks so much for watching. I love making these videos and you guys have made it so possible with all your encouragement and likes and shares. So I'll see you next time.